Hello my strong strong friends and welcome to a new video. I don't ever say that. Today we've got some special guests. My friend Zach is going to teach me how to do... Uh, salt press. Oh yes, salt press. You've never heard of it, I've never heard of it. Zach is a very great weightlifting coach and he's gonna tell us a little bit about himself. But I like doing these videos because you get to learn something new from a coach who has a specialty outside of your own, which is awesome. Uh, so hopefully you guys learned something new and hopefully some weightlifters are here and they can get some tips on the SOTS press, whatever that is. We also have some special guests, the lovely Kristen Dunsmore. The beautiful <laughs> Isa Dexis. I'm at Mushu. And Look at this girl. Oh, little <laughs> cutie. Oh, look at you. And of course. Uh, Adam Clarksna. And Adam, Adam Cosna, who you guys might remember from one of my most popular YouTube videos, Powerlifter Tries Weightlifting. There he is, the man himself. The So let's learn some stuff. Do you want to give us like a quick intro of who you are and what you do? I am a weightlifter and weightlifting coach, and I make YouTube content as well. You can visit that channel, but I don't want to plug my stuff this year. No, you guys gotta watch his YouTube channel. He has some of the best, most famous videos to ever exist on weightlifting, like millions and millions of views. And I don't know if you guys knew this, weightlifting is not that popular, so how it has millions of views, I don't know, so it means you gotta go check him hey, out. Hey, how dare you tell the truth about weightlifting? <laughs> weightlifting is great, it's just not that popular. So yeah, definitely check out his channel, it's amazing, everyone's uh, Instagrams and stuff is gonna be linked down below, so check everyone out. This drill, I'm not gonna lie, is probably one of the hardest and most mobility demanding drills. And it's an incredible test if you have thoracic mobility and stability, all the necessary um, joint mobility for the squat, at least the deep squat, which is very valuable for high bar stuff and, and front squatting, all that good stuff. So it combines the strict press and the front squat in the most compromised position possible. So I'm actually gonna <laughs> have Adam demo it straight away. Barbell? It's just the barbell. All right. Front rack position. Probably, you know what? We're just gonna have him do it, okay? okay? Yeah. Just do it. And then, yep, and stand. So actually, I do like to stand Ooh. out of it instead of drop it from that bottom position. Mm -hmm. But, okay, so let's break it down. So we're not gonna get onto the barbell stuff just yet. I just wanna talk about the joint angles of the, the deep squat. Because that's, it's different in powerlifting, right? Like, um, yeah, you, you're- Deep you're, enough. Right, you're, well, you're gonna stop there. But if you wanna do a proper soft spread, you're gonna almost be in that, yeah, super deep position. You could potentially be higher, but we'll get there when we get there. So stand all the way up. Mag is super flexible and super, ready to do the deep squat. But first things first, you wanna think uh, the proximity of your calf to your hamstring, and then also equally as important, the proximity of your uh, femur to your torso. So a lot of times people do one or the other. You'll see in powerlifting, femur to torso, right? You'll see in a lot of weightlifting spheres, people don't use their hips, and they'll just send the knees out and they'll kind of be up even higher. Yeah, that's their bottom position. And what you'll see is your hip crease is barely below the knees. If she really uses her hips, kind of shifts, now open up even more with the upper back. As much as you can, as much as you can, fight, 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 fight. Hip crease below the knee, and she has that thoracic stability. But we'll talk more about thoracic stuff. Important thing, show me that you can get your hip crease below the knee. That's first and foremost. Okay, what will end up happening if you've never really done it before is likely you'll feel like, oh my God, I'm gonna slip back. Right, you're gonna slip back into this position. What you wanna do is maybe grab a, like an upright or something that's cemented into the ground or whatever it may be and pull yourself till you're here. Still have a rounded back. Then lift yourself up by applying pressure down and then you can start to straighten out the lumbar spine. Right here, I have a noticeably lower hip than me, and I don't have a compromised spine. This is gonna be our like money position. You guys see that? Okay, so Meg, actually we can, let's do it right here. Relax, right? And if she's slipping back, she, all she's gonna do is maybe get the knees out a little bit, 
She's gonna use this to pull her chest forward and get more pressure towards the front of the foot. A lot of times when we get into a low position like this, everything slips back like that. So she's just using this to balance, pull herself in. Now she is already really like solid in the lumbar spine. Let's just act like you're worse here, so yeah, okay? So what she's gonna have to do is get her hands a little bit higher and start lifting up by applying pressure with the feet. Up, 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 push, 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 push. Use your quads to push. Right there, now let's go down a little bit and then let go. That's pretty strenuous position, right? Yeah. Knees out. Good, now press through the quads and stand. Yeah. Okay, it's a little bit more, uh, like I said, it's a super compromised position. It's hard to relax and then be upright, right? So you have to kind of get in between the two positions. It's like apply the pressure, get right in there. There we go. Now that would hopefully be where we would be able to press from. Okay? You feel how's my, yeah. Wait, Meg, how's so, my position? Oh, nice. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so look at that. It's uh, <laughs> it's difficult. How do you feel? Like you feel active in the hip, active in the quads, super active in the thoracic spine. Like yeah, it's difficult just getting in the position with no weight. Right. So why do you guys do this? <laughs> <laughs> why you would do any skill that's more necessary or, or harder than what you want to accomplish, so that when the needs of the sport come into play, you have the ability to do it. Like. This is the most compromised position. Like you're never gonna press from the bottom of a squat, but it just trains you to have control over different joint segments. Mm -hmm. Like I, you know, I'm, I'm in that really deep position, but I can open and close and I can press and I can do things. That's because I have control over all different joint segments in a compromised position. So it's like- It's a nice it's, benchmark too. Yes. You know, like you can test yourself every couple months as your mobility is improving and maybe one month goes by and you realize, holy cow, this is so much easier. So, so it's kind of a nice little ego boost too <laughs> for mobility. We can, I, I wanna provide a scaling option for sure, mm -hmm. but that progression right there can be its own thing. Just deep squat progression. Mm -hmm. So you sit low, hip crease below the knee, right? And it, it, a lot of times people who are doing this for the first time, they're gonna be like, what the hell is this? They're gonna be like collapse and all that. That's why you use the upright, and you just kind of fight to get used to it. And you just pull yourself in. And then from here, you're not just going to kind of hinge and get out of it. The coolest thing is if you can actively use your quads from this position. Because what did I say before? This is the most compromised position you can be in, right here. It's hard to use your quads when they're squished up against your stomach. So you want to be here and teach yourself to kind of push from there. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's just valuable in its own. Sweet. So, Do you yeah. think for our lifters who might be at home and maybe aren't weightlifting necessarily, mm -hmm. but working in some movements like front squats, do you think that drill yes. could be helpful? That's so why, for yeah. my people who have a hard time staying upright in the front squat, that very simple exercise um, might be helpful for mm -hmm. your mobility to get into that rack position. How do you work on the deep squat? You gotta just my name is Meg Squats because my default resting position is this. Is that why? Right. Just chilling down here, Ready? waiting I mean, for the boss, exactly sending a text that, message. That's not exactly that position, but if there are no seats available, this will be my seat. So. Here we go. Okay, so Sots comes from Victor Sots. He's a famous weightlifter, and he used to do this uh, in the training hall. And I think he could do it with upwards of 140 kilos. So 308 pounds for all you Americans out there, Absolutely. which is- That's my deadlift PR, or which no, is insane. That's, that's my squat PR. I think 140 is ridiculous. Do you think you could do it right now? Sure. All right, here we go. So standing tall, bar goes into the front rack position. Now, front rack position, this is where things get a little weird because we have to press. So if Meg wanted to press this bar overhead from standing, she couldn't grip with her fingertips. You can't press like that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the bar and we're gonna try to get it into, we can make like a J hook, right? You guys know a J hook right here. Do this. You can literally do the same thing. So transfer it over like that, J hook. Right, now press it overhead, okay? 
Now take that J-hook and bring it down. There we go. Wrap your fingers now. Now we can get the elbows slightly higher. If we can squat from that position, right there, go ahead, squat. Now press. Oh my Woo! God. Stand, stand. Nice, man. Okay. Put, put the bar back down. That, that little series, that J-hook is huge because what it does is it establishes a pressing motion where if you get into that zone of like, okay, I'm gonna front squat first, that's when people get really loose at the bottom. Mm -hmm. You know, if I tell your hand and your elbow to stay like that, it's likely that when you go down to the bottom of the squat, you're not gonna slip back mm -hmm. into this position. It's just likely that you're gonna do it because you can't do both. Okay, um, thanks Zach for showing us some things, teaching us something new today. Now I'm gonna try to add some weight. I will tell you guys, that's a 33 pound bar and my best trick press is like over 100 pounds. Um, now it's really hard to do it down there. So yeah, it's really just taking two very difficult movements and you know, for my newer lifters, think about small steps that you could take to maybe start getting into the position before you add any weight. Just getting into the position is difficult itself. I mean, I've been lifting for like six years and compared to most lifters, I have above average mobility, I would say. So just keep those things in mind before you get into the gym and do some sauce presses, but let's see how heavy I can go. And we're gonna get, Kristen, you're gonna hop in here? We do a big ass training montage. Best overhead press for our people at home. Oh God, I don't even know, like 125 maybe? Yeah, girl. 125? What's your best bench? In kilos, sure. 115. 253. Yep. All right, so let's see if I So let's see how humbling so the empty bar is. So that I know. <laughs> we're starting the front rack. Yep, and then remember the J-hook. Now we're gonna try to maintain that, and then you can get it tight on your clavicle too. At this point. There we go. Maintain that and go down to the bottom. Here we go, Meg. Good. Ooh. Oh, that was easy there, my first Easy. There we go. Nice, Mag. Oh, don't. <laughs> That's not how we do it. Alright, so. This one's gonna be easier than the plane, I think. Yep. Front rack. Just can I get it up? Yeah. Okay. Like an impressive. Okay. Ooh. Reach it back. Back, 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 back. Oh, look at that. There it is. Nice. So the, the, the big thing for you is going to be getting it deep in, in your palm. Deep in my palm? Yeah. Okay. This is actually big. If it starts to slip back in your fingertips, you start getting this thing where you're trying to fight to get the bar behind you. Yeah. And you have to then rotate. The deeper it is in your palm, the better you can just press it right in that position. Okay. Yeah. No skull crushers. Yeah. <laughs> with uh, his whole father. <laughs> deep in the so palm. Extra. There we go. Yes. See you, Meg. Nice. Woo! Boom, baby. Let's go, Chris. Let's go, Chris! We're having challenges today. Check out Zach's video where he teaches us how to weight lift power clean. I'm gonna get this fast press. Alright, so. Ooh. There we go. Nice work. I hear all this crap. Very impressive. Yeah, babe. That was a PR. <laughs> that feels weird in weird places. I don't even know how to explain it. Oh, yeah. Get calm, man. Oh, it's easy. Dang. Feels weird in weird places. Meg, oh, hold on. Hold on. You got it, babe. Come on, Ryan. Show us what you got, big oh, daddy. What do they call you? Retired. This is it's a comeback clean PR. Daddy, oh, yeah. Here we go. Put the right shoes on. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, what's he doing with his knees here? 
Yeah. Oh, oh mama. Damn. What that clean was really hard. Let's go! Here you go. <laughs> Stand it up. Wait. <laughs> Forgot about this back part. Oh, she's going up, huh? Oh, man. Come on. Woo. Never mind. Get with the program, sister. Ready. Here you go, Meg. Come on. Oh, fuck. This feels heavy. No, you got it. Strong on the bar. Yup. Nice. Oh shit, that's hard. <laughs> yeah, big greens today, big greens. Yowza, you think I can do big greens? I think so. You got it. <laughs> Come on, babe. Yeah! Oh! <laughs> got it. Does that count? Yeah. It doesn't, I don't think that count. counts. <laughs> Come on, Adam. Oh my God, Jesus Christ. Again, again. I will, hold on. Oh, easy. Nice, man. Come on, Megan. Make this count. Come on now. <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh. The screen's actually like. Yeah, I it. Adrenaline, huh? I didn't, think, I didn't think it was gonna happen, but it happened, man. I don't know it what happened. That. Should I yell? Definitely. Ah! <laughs> Shit. Let's go! Keep pressing, don't stop, don't stop. Push, push, push! Yes! Uh, yes! Yeah. 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 <laughs> Got it back! Get it back! Stand up. Stand up. <laughs> <laughs> I said it's all one Go, 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 go! <laughs> Adam had to add an extra weight on. Oh, it's oh heavy. God. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Or negative. I wonder what happened on that last one. <laughs> this is close to a PR strict press, I think. Wait, what? Yeah. This is a PR I, strict press? No, no, it's close. I think I've done like 85 or 90. I don't, I, oh, I it's oh close. shit. So. Viewers, what you did wrong there. I didn't do it. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. We got it, we got it. Understood. Kristen's going again. I'm gonna try if I'm, I'm, for the record, I did seven sets on bench today, plus strict press. Now I'm doing this. So I just wanna say that I'm a little bit fatigued right now. She's been working very hard today, we won't that lie. I totally would get it if I fail this. I, I believe you. You're Thank not gonna you. fail it. No. I mean, there's only one way to know, though, if you could ever get it, and that's by you getting it right now. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Come on, Kristen, just keep pressing. Here we go. <laughs>
Yep. Oh my, head through, yeah. Something. That counts, that counts. Yes. <laughs> yeah, baby. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Thick, solid, tight, come on. <laughs> yes, come Stop. on. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, she's dead. <laughs> hopefully you guys enjoy this one and hopefully you learn something new. Be sure to check out Kristen on Instagram. Maybe by the time you guys follow her, she'll be able to get that weight. And of course, check out Adam on Instagram as well. And Zach's YouTube channel, it is amazing. I'm gonna link everything down below. And if you guys like this, give the video a like, especially if you wanna see more collabs. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. The Meg Sots Invitational 2020. <laughs>